Welcome back to our channel Inform AI, where we explore the lives of some of the greatest minds in history. Today, we delve into the life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the brilliant physicist who led the Manhattan Project and helped develop the atomic bomb that ultimately brought an end to World War Roman II. But there's so much more to Oppenheimer than just his scientific achievements. Oppenheimer's story is a fascinating journey through the complexities of the human experience. So join us as we uncover the life and legacy of this enigmatic figure and discover what made J. Robert Oppenheimer one of the most fascinating and controversial figures of the 20th century. Robert Oppenheimer was an American physicist and one of the most important figures in the development of the atomic bomb. He is widely regarded as the father of the atomic bomb due to his leadership of the Manhattan Project, the secret U.S. government program that developed the first nuclear weapons during World War Roman II. Oppenheimer was born in New York City in 1904 to a wealthy Jewish family. He showed an early aptitude for science and attended Harvard University. Science has profoundly altered the conditions of man's life, both materially and in ways of the spirit as well. It has extended the range of questions in which man has a choice. It has extended man's freedom to make significant decisions. No one can predict what vast new continents of knowledge the future of science will discover. We know that as long as men are free to ask what they will, free to say what they think, free to think what they must, science will never regress, and freedom itself. He went on to earn his Ph.D. in physics at the University of Göttingen in Germany, where he worked with some of the most prominent physicists of his day. After completing his doctoral work, Oppenheimer returned to the United States and joined the faculty at the University of California. Berkeley, where he became known for his work on quantum mechanics and astrophysics. In the 1930 seconds, he became involved in political activism and was a vocal critic of fascism and totalitarianism. In 1942, Oppenheimer was appointed the director of the Manhattan Project, the top secret U.S. government program to develop an atomic bomb. Under his leadership, a team of scientists and engineers successfully developed the first atomic bomb, which was tested at the Trinity site in New Mexico in July 1945. Following the success of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer became a prominent public figure and was widely celebrated for his role in helping the United States win World War Roman II. However, he soon became a controversial figure due to his opposition to the development of the hydrogen bomb a more powerful nuclear weapon that was being developed in the 1950 seconds. His opposition to the hydrogen bomb led to accusations of disloyalty and ties to communism, and he was ultimately stripped of his security clearance by the U.S. government. In the years following his removal from government work, Oppenheimer continued to work as a physicist and educator, and he became an outspoken critic of the nuclear arms race. He died of cancer in 1967, and he is remembered today as one of the most important scientists of the 20th century, as well as a complex and controversial figure in American history. Oppenheimer grew up in a wealthy family. His father was a successful textile importer. Despite being raised in a secular Jewish family, Oppenheimer was fascinated by Hinduism and Buddhism. He even learned Sanskrit and translated ancient Hindu texts. In the 1930 seconds, Oppenheimer became a prominent anti-fascist and anti-Nazi activist. He organized protests and spoke out against the rise of Hitler and the persecution of Jews in Germany. Despite his pivotal role in the development of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer was also a vocal opponent of nuclear weapons. He famously said, 
world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty. And to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Oppenheimer was an avid collector of art and artifacts from around the world. He owned a large collection of ancient Asian art and was particularly interested in Chinese ceramics. Despite his controversial here's an upcoming Christopher Nolan's movie about Jay, Robert Oppenheimer is one of the most highly anticipated films in recent years. However, it is known that Nolan has been working on the script for several years and has assembled an impressive cast and crew. The movie is expected to explore the complex character of Oppenheimer, a brilliant physicist who helped develop the atomic bomb but was later plagued by moral and ethical questions about the use of this weapon of mass destruction. The film will likely delve into Oppenheimer's personal life, including his struggles with depression and his relationships with colleagues and family members. With Nolan's reputation for creating visually stunning and thought-provoking films, the Oppenheimer biopic is sure to be a cinematic event that will generate significant buzz and critical acclaim upon its release. Thank you.